Guys, it took me 10 years to understand this and uh, in this video I want to share with you how did I structure the deal where I sold the entire building. My name is Dennis, I am working on the real estate market already for 10 years. This year I closed one of the biggest sales uh, of the biggest developer over here, Imar. So uh, during my career it was really bothering me why I'm not closing uh, deals uh, that are um, like, as we call it, on a high ticket. It wasn't any an issue for me to close several uh, deals uh, through the months uh, to close like 1 million, 2 million, 3 million, 5 million deals. But um, the deals that are 50, 60, 70, even above 1 million, I never cracked it. Cracked it. Uh, I had a very good volume, but I didn't have big, uh, big tickets. What I changed in my uh, approach in order to achieve it. Before I start, obviously, there was a very big element of uh, luck in this, and we should not forget about it. But uh, there are a few things that I uh, changed and it helped me. Before how I approached it, I was looking for this client who will ask for something like this, like Dennis helped me to buy uh, like a huge mansion, helped me to buy a building uh, and uh, I will get this lead and I will try to find something uh, on the market and uh, provide it uh, to him. And uh, whenever I heard that somebody closed a big deal, I asked, I will always ask from where did you get the client? Uh, this was my main uh, question. So what uh, I did differently uh, this time? Uh, this time I found an extremely attractive opportunity for the investor. We are talking about uh, building in uh, the area Minarashat. Minarashat offers the best uh, entry price for the investor across all waterfront. Uh, the price per square foot is uncomparable to any other uh, waterfront communities uh, in Dubai. And even if we'll take uh, Business Bay or we'll take uh, Shoba, Heartland, it's really uncomparable. Uh, the price there is very low for now uh, because it's uh, just the beginning uh, over there. I fall in love with uh, that uh, community. I bought myself uh, there as well, uh, property. And I saw a very good option for the investment. So I compared it with different other locations of where else a client can buy and um, is it really the best offer right now on the market and they came to the conclusion that it is and um, after that i put the information together in the pdf file and i start sharing it with my uh, partners uh, i told it about it to everyone like if you had a coffee uh, with me during this period i will tell you by the way there is an incredible opportunity right now uh, do you know anybody who might be interested in this so i spoke with bloggers i spoke with bankers i spoke with uh, uh, my clients, um, I told to everyone. So one of these partners came to me and said, look, I might have somebody who might be interested in something like this. We had a conversation, a call, uh, then we had a meeting, another meeting, and uh, we decided to go ahead uh, with the deal because I explained uh, the benefits of uh, this area, what is good about it, what is bad about it and what uh, potential uh, this uh, area has. Yeah, after some time we concluded uh, a deal. I can say that maybe it was one of the easiest deal in terms of the efforts, like uh, meetings and uh, how much uh, stress was involved in it. And um, in the same time, people are asking me like, was I super happy when I closed it? I cannot say that like I was jumping to the roof, like, yeah, it's done, etc. It was just another uh, deal. The only time when I was like super happy about it is when I was sitting in the office and uh, the company announced the deal and everybody came to me and said wow incredible uh, such such a good result and uh, only by then I like I felt it like it's done it's really outstanding and uh, I'm, I'm really happy that I had it uh, but during the deal everything was very smooth and um, well obviously uh, here and there there were a few things but uh, overall I cannot say that uh, uh, I was stressful a lot about it. So uh, what lesson did I learn um, from, from this deal is that, first of all, you should not always wait for the client to come to you and ask, I need this. Keep your eyes open and look for uh, amazing opportunities on the market. And if you identify them, make sure all your network knows about it. You might be surprised from where the clients will come, maybe even th through the barbershop where you cut your hair. Uh, you can tell like, look, I'm, I'm working right now <laughs> on the building and uh, like just, just just keep in mind uh, so all your network should know about it and um, most probably it's not guaranteed but uh, uh, somebody will come and yes I acknowledge uh, that luck is as well a very big part of it but I was preparing myself for this luck for for a very 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 long uh, time so I hope this video uh, will be useful for some of you who are 
uh, in, in this industry. And uh, if <laughs> by some reason you have uh, somebody who is looking uh, to buy a big asset, uh, invest uh, in the building or something like this, I'll be happy uh, to assist. Thank you for watching this video.